Ukraine war. Biden says U.S. will not be intimidated by reckless Putin by George Wright BBC. News published 31 minutes ago share related topics Russia-Ukraine war Joe Biden image. Source, Reuters image caption. Joe Biden said his Russian counterpart would not scare the U.S. and its allies President Joe Biden has warned Russia that the United States will not be intimidated by reckless threats after Vladimir Putin annexed four occupied regions of Ukraine. Mr. Putin appeared to make a veiled threat to use nuclear weapons to defend the new annexed territories. He declared that the regions would in quat, forever in quat, be part of Russia. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called the annexation in quat, the most serious escalation since the start of the war in quat. In a speech, the Russian leader claimed citizens in Kherson, Zaporizhia, Luhansk and Donetsk had voted to be in Quat, with their people, their motherland and Quat. He was referring to so-called referendums held in the regions in recent days, but Ukraine and Western governments have condemned the votes as a sham. But much of Mr. Putin's speech was used to rail at the West. He said the U.S. had created a in Quat, precedent in Quat, by using nuclear weapons against Japan at the end of World War II, in an apparent threat. Mr. Putin last week said his country had in quat, various weapons of destruction in quat, and would in quat, use all the means available to us in quat, adding, and quat, I'm not bluffing, and quat, the Kremlin has made clear that any attack on the newly annexed regions would be seen as an attack on Russian soil, signaling an escalation in the war. President Biden called out his Russian counterparts in Quat, reckless words and threats in Quat, but added that Mr. Putin was in Quat, not going to scare us in Quat. And Quat, America and its allies are not going to be intimidated, and Quat, President Biden said at the White House. He then addressed the Russian president directly, pointing his finger into the camera. And Quat, America's fully prepared, with our NATO allies, to defend every single inch of NATO territory, and quat, he said, in reference to the Western security bloc, and quat, Mr. Putin, don't misunderstand what I'm saying, every inch, and quat, shortly after, Mr. Biden's top national security official said while there was a chance of Moscow resorting to nuclear weapons, there did not appear to be an imminent threat. Putin raises stakes in speech full of anti-Western bile what Russian annexation means for Ukraine's regions Russia's invasion in maps Ukraine launched a new, fast-track bid to join NATO soon after Mr. Putin's speech. President Volodymyr Zelensky said Ukraine had long been a in quat, de facto in quat, member of the security bloc and accused Moscow of redrawing borders in Quat, using murder, blackmail, mistreatment and lies in Quat. Mr. Stoltenberg of NATO was reluctant to be drawn on the bid, saying the decision rested with the bloc's 30 members. The alliance's members in Quat, do not and will, not in Quat, recognize any of the annexed territory as part of Russia, Mr. Stoltenberg told reporters. Accusing Mr. Putin of and quat, irresponsible nuclear saber rattling and quat. He called the annexation a and quat, pivotal moment and quat, in the war. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said and quat, the illegal annexation proclaimed by Putin won't change anything and quat and quat, all territories illegally occupied by Russian invaders are Ukrainian land and will always be part of this sovereign nation, and quat, South Korea said it did not recognize the annexations, adding that Ukraine's sovereignty, territorial security and independence must be protected. As Mr. Putin spoke in Moscow, 750 kilometers, 466 miles, to the south, his forces were being surrounded by Ukrainian troops in Lyman, a 
strategically important town in the eastern province of Donetsk, one of four regions annexed by Russia. Ukraine's military has been keen to conceal the pace of its troops' advance in the area. But one video on social media appeared to show Kyiv's forces in the center of Yampil, just 16 kilometers, 9 miles, southeast of Lyman. And late on Friday night, Kyiv's defense ministry said it had taken the village of Drobysheva, 8 kilometers, 4 miles, northwest of Lyman. Elsewhere, in Zaporizhia some 30 Ukrainians were killed in a Russian rocket strike on a civilian convoy. At the same time, Russia vetoed a UN Security Council resolution which would have condemned its annexation of the four occupied regions. Moscow's ambassador, Vasily Nebenzia, complained that it was unprecedented to seek the condemnation of a permanent member of the body. While the Kremlin's blocking of the motion was anticipated, both India and China abstained.